twice as many fouls to work with here against O'Leary. It's more depth than West Valley's gone against. Sequoia's in the orange. West Valley in the white underway for the men's championship here. The 2024 3 c 2 a basketball championships. Odenewu shot, or I should say, Jalen Lee's shot comes up short. And Odenewu has the rebound. This is Elijah Mahi. And he checked by Jaden Hare. I have a feeling it's good news, bad news with Hare. Uh, matches up very well with Elijah Mahi. That's something we were talking about. But also a lot of minutes last night and battling cramps in the lower leg. And now he's right back this afternoon. Yeah, and I'm sure they spent a ton of time making sure that he was hydrated and ready to go for this one. He is going to need to play a lot of minutes. Good to be 18 and 19. Yeah. This is Jose Cuello, the leading scorer on the season. Step back three over Dargan in and out. Hare had a hand on the rebound. Tipped and Dargan will save them up. I'm interested to see who wins the rebounding battle today. Sequoia's among the best. I'm going to double check the stats to see. I believe they are the best in terms of rebound differentials. Mahi steps through and lays it in. West Valley obviously acquits themselves well on the boards, uh, rebounding their opponents by a little bit over 13 rebounds a game. It's going to be two outstanding rebounding teams. Hare will try for three off the back iron, and Reagan snatch the ball. It's a bracy screen all the way to the basket, layup good. Baron Bracey screen. A couple good shots, just not going down. You can't panic, you gotta keep getting good shots. Ari Nesbitt has had a good tournament so far here at the championships, shooting the ball well. And it's a hair. Playoff working against Darby. Now picked up by Mahi in a switch. Step back three. Barely moves the net for Cueo. Of course, for those who might have missed it, hit the unbelievable shot to force overtime last night. Yeah, uh, you could call it a shot, but he kind of threw yeah. it at the basket. It was about a runner from about 23 feet, <laughs> and it went in. Incredible. Force overtime. Mahi dancing on the dribble. From the elbow, that's good. Mahi with a torrid start. He's got all six. Player of the year in the North. Started out hot. And our by Reagan. Nesbitt, second leading scorer working against Bracey. A shot over Bracey is good. Bracey, the all diff out defensive team selection. And the coast south. Nesbitt picking up right where he left off last night. Yeah. And there's the Lee Odenewu matchup. I think then there's the Nesbitt Bracey matchup, which will be pivotal in the matchup as well. How much can Bracey slow down from Mario Nesbitt? Dargan will launch from long range in and out. A halfway down for Dargan. That's frustrating for him. Cueto picked up by Reagan. Goes down, and that one off the feet of Nesbitt and to Reagan. This man really off to a good start doing it all himself. Elijah Mahi. Foul call. Yeah, Lee's doing a good job of denying. Unfortunately for Sequoia's Mahi is getting a lot more action. He's he's pretty hard to stop. Well, he was so big against Syracuse. That fast start. Holding them off. Reagan for three. And that's shoots 51% for the season. That's what I want to see him do. I want to see him shoot it. Yeah, we're looking at the numbers and the percentage. 
just unbelievable at 51 percent but 45 of 88 in total so he doesn't take a lot of shots from that well, i want to watch him shoot 45 today <laughs> hair tries to follow his own miss it's on the floor and off of hair and back to west valley in pursuit of what would be their first championship. Sequoia is looking for their third, but it would be their first since 1982. Mahi has a little room. Looking for Odenewu, but Lee jumps in front and has the steal. And they're letting him play down low. Which would be more fun to watch. Puts it on the floor. And the half hook around and out. Demonte. Mahi into the lane. Teardrop off the board and in. Just, so he can score so many points. Yeah, it's just so hard to guard a guy that athletic, that, that tall, long. Shoot three, you could drive it, got mid range. It's not a lot. Has that one rejected by Odenewu. There's not a lot you can do with Mahi. You get the feeling for Sequoia's there's a little bit of as you watch the rejection with extreme prejudice from Odenewu. Tipped out by Briscoe, who's on. Bracey will lay it in. Raya Briscoe will a knock down for Elijah Mahi. That appears to be an interesting decision on the surface with 14 19 remaining here in the first half, and you send Mahi to the bench. Yeah, I think they're trying to get him a, a, a couple minute break uh, while they feel like they got an eight point lead. You know, they know it's a long game, it's day three, he's done a lot. As Nesbitt drills the shot over Briscoe, I'm going to call that a long two. Or no, it was a three, 13 seconds. A couple more of those, we might see Mahi back in this game, but I, I do think they're they're planning for all 40 minutes. Okay, and let's just correct very quickly. It was a long two for Nesbitt. It's 13 seconds. This boy's going to a zone. Noah Yang on for West Valley. Good pass down low and the finger roll for Odenewu. Yang with the good feed. 15-7. Go working against Argandar. Back outside. Has been. It's a Lee screen. Comes up shooting from 17. Just got the iron and off to Odenewu. Dargan struggled somewhat from the field against Yuba. Had just eight points, but also seven points and uh, seven rebounds and four assists, so. They were letting them come by for both teams. And yeah, you really got them going. Yeah, quick eight points in that first half. Odenewu from 15, rims no good. Nesbitt with the rebound. I think Sequoia's would prefer that shot, and Mahi's coming back in the game. So Mahi and Reagan set to come in. Cueto. Lee, 17, it's good. Lee very comfortable on that face up from outside. Yeah. He had eight points last night in the overtime win against Fullerton. Advanced to the finals here today. Dargan for three, rimming no. And Cameron Clark, who has checked in, pulls down the rebound for Sequoias. Six point lead for the Vikings. Giants with the ball. Looking for that high screen from Lee. He goes down again. Argandar will fire. Round and out and off to Odenewu. Well, I think offensive rebounds, we agree, could be a very important statistic in this one between the two teams here in the first eight and a half minutes, one total. So it's going to be hard to come by. Yeah. Yang goes down, no call. Davis 
on the drive. It's trying to feed Odenewu, knocked out a play by Lee, and they're going to say this is off of West Valley. Yeah, I think he just shot it off the side of the backboard. Yeah. Until he was trying to find a lane, and yeah, just wanted to get one up there. The board back to Sequoias. So Clark in for Hare. For Sequoias, Quayle. Jump stop, puts up the shot. Oh. Well, that was very similar in terms of release to the shot that went in to force overtime. So maybe, to be fair, maybe he practices a little more than we think. Maybe, maybe that, that is. Looked, that looked pretty natural. A one-handed fadeaway. 15-11. Quayle with five. Mahi. Checked by Quayle. Shot clock down to seven. Corner to Reagan. Now Mai got to make something happen. Battling the shot clock and didn't get the iron, but Yang came down with a rebound, but the shot clock violation. Well, this gets back to something we were talking about. Mahi got off to a very fast start against Heron. You would think that was a good matchup, but then all of a sudden, a little bit smaller Quayos on him, and Mahi all of a sudden seemed a little out of sorts, at least on that possession. Yeah, you talked about it. Maybe sometimes guys like to be guarded by guys the same size as them. Let's put somebody smaller on them. So maybe you are a coach after all. <laughs> Working on Mahi. Mahi with the clean block. Knocked out of play and back to West Valley. Big defensive play from Elijah Mahi. So West Valley with Briscoe, Reagan. Bracey returns, so they go back to the three guards. Briscoe, Bracey, and Reagan on the floor. With Mahi and Odenewu. It's like they're back in that zone. And Briscoe open for three, but overshot it. And Clark with the rebound. It's hard to say the zone successful on that one with that wide open of a shot, yeah, but I guess. A pretty good look for Briscoe. Yeah, it's hard to call that success. Didn't go down. Clark. Lee Odenewu will give him some room. Quayo will let it go from three point range on the rebound. Off to Clark. So a second chance. Argandar for three. Back iron. Long rebound. Going to try and save it off Odenewu, but right to Briscoe. It's a great play by Odenewu to stay out of the way. Briscoe jets into the front court, has it tipped away, but maintains and off to Mahi. Open for three. It's Reagan back iron. Great pass, great shot. Clark with the rebound. Let's look at these two teams, and we've seen them now for a couple of days. If they are decidedly going to let them play. Does that favor one team or the other in your mind? I don't think so. I think it favors the fans. You get to watch two teams battle it out. It's two fouls to zero right now, and they're letting them play. No one wants to come here in the championship and watch two teams have a free throw contest. Uh, shot clock at 17, directing traffic. Aaron Bracey. Down to nine. And Mahi going to fire from way downtown, in and out. Rebound on the floor, saved by Argandar off of Araya Briscoe. And Brett, to me, as we're watching the last few minutes here, this is something that looks like occasionally is a problem for West Valley, where all of a sudden they've become very West stacked. Valley makes you do that, but you're still in the game. One of six from three-point range for West Valley, but overall she was 50% from the floor. I think they got to get downhill and attack a little bit more. There, there is a reason why there are no fouls because they have not attacked the rim at all. And there feeds Lee. Lee starts a move on Odenewu, goes to the hook. And a foul before the shot. It's going to go on Odenewu. Push on Lee. First on Odenewu. And 
right now. Lee with one and Clark with none. Nesbitt will launch from way downtown. A long rebound brace. He can let it go. I don't love that one. Had some time after the foul. Yeah. And looks like Coach Jensen didn't like it either. He won't wait too comes long Davis that White. Bench, though. And Nesbitt will head to the bench. Sequoia is back in the man defense. Dargan pulls up for three. Long rebound again, and Clark secures. Well, after a quiet regulation, Clark is all over the place in overtime. Nine of the 19 points for Cameron Clark. Lee has the steal, but he traveled trying to stay inbounds. I'd say even with the travel, that's a pretty athletic play from Jalen He looked good. He still, he still caught his balance there. And not a lot of big guys do that. Another thing I've, I've noticed about him is he can block shots, and he also takes charges, which uh, to get a big man of his size to do both of those things. It's not easy. Two blocks in the game last night for Lee. Two blocks uh, for Cameron Clark. And it raises the question that at this level, the runner from Dargan in and out on the baseline. Paul going to give it back to Sequoias. But you don't see a lot of shot blockers. It's not a regular uh, occurrence. You do see it sometimes. But... Someone the size of uh, Odenewu or uh, Jalen Lee not necessarily to be found. Do you find sometimes that players aren't used to that or not as much experience of you know playing against someone that has that ability to uh, you know alter so many shots going toward the basket? Yeah, if you don't have it in practice every day, it does it, it can it can get to you. And both these teams won't be rattled by it at all because they got plenty of them in practice. Clark goes to the hook and hits. Cameron Clark is a nice luxury coming off the bench. Yep. He was Alex big. Jensen. He was big last night. He really helped put it away in overtime. Fronting Odenewu and Lee. Able to knock it back and get the steal. And, and I haven't seen all of West Valley's games, but I haven't seen many big men that can match up as well as they do. White. Shot clock at 10. Lee going right at Odenewu. Double pump is good for Jalen Lee. And tied at 15. Sequoia's all the way back. It's an 8 0 run for Sequoia's. And clear out for Mahi. Caught the side of the board. Lee's calling for a sub. Gander leans over the dribble and they'll take it. So Hare back on. So the lineup are Gandar, White, Cueo, Hare, and Clark. West Valley, Reagan, Bracey, Dargan. Yang and Odenewu. So Mahi back to the bench. Argandar in on Odenewu and a whistle and a foul called. And this will be number two on Odenewu. And how about Alex Argandar being the one going right at Odenewu and getting that second foul. That's what they need to do. They need to stay aggressive. And, and they are definitely not scared. What it is, what, what's uh, surprising to see is two North teams uh, with great crowds here today. 67% from the line. And uh, came into the championship with just 45 free throw attempts on the year. So this is not something where he gets himself going at the basket an awful lot. Picks his spot very well in this case. And hits them both. 10 unanswered for College of the Sequoias. 17-15 in favor of the Giants. Mahi back on. Picked up by Clark. Looking for a Yang screen. Now he's got hair. On the drive. Shot off the glass is good. He goes right at Jaden Hare again. He's got 10. He's so good at knowing when they need a bucket that he can just go and get it. That's well contested, getting a little help from Clark as well. And 
the scores over both of them. Argandar from way downtown. Long rebound tapped down, and Argandar is going to retreat. Get it to Cueto. Cueto's step back is good. Well, similar to last night, Cueto. To a faster start, still struggling from the field. It's 5 of 18 last night as well against Fullerton, but the wins keep coming. Yeah. And it can't hit. I think it would have to be considered the biggest shot of the season. Yeah. Or in that one. Or anybody. Uh, yeah, he with the fadeaway and the foul call. It's going to go on Clark. And the athleticism brings a couple of free throws. That's a good call. He's got him on the arm. Yeah, we'll have a look at it here. Uh, floor level. That's just the tail end of it, but let's watch one more time. Hard to tell from that angle, but on the other side, I think good angle for the ref. And do you trust that much when you're on the sideline? If, uh, if you, you don't really see it well, but you know they had a really good look at it, is that enough for you? Is that I, I, the coaching standpoint? I think it depends on... Uh, who's it? Is it going against me or is it for me? <laughs> okay. I thought there'd just be complete trust in that one. <laughs> for you, it's like great there, call. There great should, call. Sure yes, right. of course. <laughs> two for two for the line. I am a little biased. He's got 12 in the first half. Back to a tie at 19. We're under four minutes to go. He has Yang down low. What Steps back but missed the layup. That's a good move, though. Mahi high up for the board. He gets a screen from Yang. Yang going to drive it right at Lee. Tries to spin it off the glass, won't go. Cuello has the rebound, but Yang pokes it free and has the steal. Big play for Noah Yang to get the ball back for the Vikings. Tend to slow it down. Shot clock at 15. Aaron Bracey. To Yang. Dargan in the weave. Clear out for Mahi. Goes to work on Clark. Lost the handle. Now Good gathers one. back up. Good and one. Who's that on? Let's see. Oh, that's, it's on Lee. Be the second on Jalen Lee. Mahi on the big stage here in the championship game with 14 in the first half. And Mahi had 17 points out of a total of 39 for the team in the second half of the win against Saracosa. So he was really carrying the offensive load. Do that. To close that one out as well. 22 19 after the three point play. This communication with White, but Hare will recover. Shot clock at 14 as Quayle leads over the board. Quayle on the drive, working on Briscoe, spins it in. I'll tell you, Quayle, he's got an array of shots. Yeah, he can make a tough shot. And they needed that one right there. Yeah, now in the game, back to a one-point game. Mahi working on Clark. Thumbs up shooting, and the whistle and the foul called. I believe this is going to be two on Clark as well. So Lee with two, Clark with two, and 222 remaining. Wouldn't it be great if the game was tied at 22? Almost. That would have been perfect for you. <laughs> To the line. Hard to tell. Well, it feels like when Mahi gets into the lane and gets in the air, that he is able to stay in the air for so long that your arm almost involuntarily comes down. Yeah. And, and you'll get him on the elbow. And he's so good at making that shot that you feel like you have to block it or it's going in. It's the free throws. He's got 16. The lead is back to three. Or West Valley. Hale looking for a 
Clark screen. Launches for three. He's feeling it. He's got 12. We've got an old-fashioned duel shaping up here with Mahi and Cueo. Tied at 24. And they're switching Cueo on to Frisco. Clock at nine drives the lane. Dargan puts it on the floor in from the left. Double pump missed it. Clark does a good job to avoid the foul. Cameron Clark still on the floor playing with two fouls. Cueo. Comes up shooting, rimming, Jeez. and good. Cueo, caution flammable. It's a three. He's got 15, chasing Mahi 17. 121 remaining in the first half, and Sequoia's out to a three-point lead on the Bay Area Online Sports Network. The play, and uh, they are hitting some shots out there. 27-24. Yeah, fouls are five to two. That's what you want to see. I see. Off to Reagan. the touch and they do switch Cueo on to Elijah Mahi. Looks like they're in a little Gordon bit of Yang. a... That oh, one knocked man. away by Cueo. He's gonna... It's a two on three. Cueo going to bring it back out and they switch Bracey on to Cueo. On to Clark's screen. Looking for Clark on the roll. Mahi knocks it out. It's free. Yang with Dargan in a two on one. Dargan with the Euro step. Layup good. 27-26. 35 seconds, about an eight second difference. Shot clock and game clock. To Cueo with the shot clock, down to 11. Cueo steps back over Yang, oh, in and man, out. Oh man, that was in and out. And now West Valley can look for the lead down to 10 seconds. Mahi. Walks it over. Looking for a Reagan screen. And the foul going to go on Argandar. They have one to give, foul. not terrible. Yeah. So the foul going to give. The good news for West Valley here is it's a long stretch on the bench for Odenewa, who returns playing with two fouls, but lost your big man with two fouls for several minutes. Looking at going into the half, down one, maybe up if you can hit a shot here. Lob looking for Odenewu from the corner, in oh, and out. Yeah. Cueo with the rebound. Sequoia's on top of West Valley. The team that's 32-0, I think you want to create as many extra possessions as you possibly can. And I really like uh, Jeremiah Dargan in, in transition. Yeah, West Valley averaged about eight more points per game on the season, so not a huge difference in terms of pace as Odenewu is open and will throw it down. I had a miscommunication down low on who was guarding who. Odenewu with just four in the game with the dunk, but it's West Valley the lead. Odenewu with two fouls, Jalen Lee, Cameron Clark each with two fouls. That's the only foul trouble for either team. Quail. This is Jalen Lee. Spins baseline. Now the double from Dargan and the steal for Bracey. Ahead to Reagan. In on Cueo. Cueo able to strip it clean. And Nesbitt has it for Sequoias. Big play by Jose Cueo getting back. Elijah Mahi with 17 to lead the way for West Valley. Jose Cueo leading score for Sequoias with 15. Cueo ends up shooting over Mahi. Won't go, but a foul call. Cueo heading to the line. You could tell on that possession, Sequoias really does want to slow it down. Cueo, an 82% foul shooter. Reagan with the foul. It's his first. And right now, Cueo with 15. Mahi with 17. Nobody else with more than four. So it really has, so far, been a duel between the two leading scorers. In and out on the first free throw. Coming for Quay. It's 
the second. Tied at 28. Ahi now at the controls. Looking against Jaden Hare. Swing from Odenay. Rattles home the shot from 10 feet. Ahi. Just so efficient in that mid-range. Yeah, and it looked like they're trying to really spread them out now. West Valley trying to spread out. Yep. Yeah, it looked like uh, Coach Roche was calling for them to spread it out. Quayle well picked up by Odineo in the switch over Dargan. On rebound, out of play. Good recovery from Dargan. Challenge that shot. And you can see him again. He really wants to spread it out. Make it hard to help. Success against Elijah Mahi. For any kind of lengthy stretch. Clark on him now. It's a target shot clock down six. Arnold with a drive on Clark. Steps through. Scoops no, but Odenewu has the offensive rebound. Tries to gather. Has that one stripped on the way up. It's going to stay with West Valley. That's incredible defensive. Play right there. Have a look here. And it's Quayle again. That's two really strong plays defensively here early in the second half, taking away what looked to be near certain buckets. It looks like he has just as much energy as he did on the first day. And Nehru forces one up, and a whistle coming in. And let's see what the call is. Dallas Jensen already doesn't like it. And this is going to go on Jalen Lee. It'll be his third. This is a big call. Just got the tail end there. Can we run that one more time, perhaps? We'll run that one more time, see. Right, on, let's take a look. His hands are down a little bit, but he kind of held his ground. Tough call. Well, Odenewu. Taking it at Jalen Lee, really for the first time that I can recall in the game. And is it possible that Coach Yoshikawa talked to his big man about being a little more assertive about trying to get those opposing defenders in the foul trouble? Yeah, it's, it's very possible. 32-28. Four point lead for West Valley. Shot clock at 11. By Nesbitt. Looking against Bracey. Comes up shooting from 17. No good. Clark giving chase. Does save it, but to Odenewa. Mahi. Back to the front court. No numbers. Now he waves off Reagan. He wants a clear out to work against Arcando. Reagan down low to Odenewu, shot clock at nine. Bracey drives the lane, stripped by Argandar, but off to Mahi. Lays it in. Six in a row for West Valley. They yeah. have the lead up to six. That's a great defensive possession. You strip it and it lands in the hands of the best player. Now Dargan, the leader steal. And he'll pick up the foul. Just enough to bother that shot. 
What a great move that it is. So hard to guard him. Still moves so hard to guard him. doing what he can to overplay against Quayo and the turnover. Trying to get the ball to their leading scorer. Jose Cuello, and he can't shake Gargan. Yeah, he did a great job of denying that lane. Gargan picked up by Clark in the switch. Feed to Odenewu. Over Lee with the left-handed hook, but Yang has the rebound blocked from behind by Lee. It'll stay with West Valley. With the shot clock at eight. Jalen Lee. Three fouls. Still on the court working against Odin Haywood. Lee and Clark. They're together and Jalen Hare. Drive with the floater, it's short. Odenewu with the rebound, tried to pull it down, and it's stripped out again. Back to West Valley. So offensive rebounds weren't much of a storyline in the first half, but a couple here. A chance for the Vikings again to extend their lead. Oh, he's open in the basket. Briscoe perhaps, but I didn't see him. Dargan comes to the jump stop but missed the shot. Yes. Off to Cuello. He ended up with a pretty good look. Yeah. Ch jump stop effective again. Jump stop effective again, and that's why he didn't get the charge. Called on him. Lee did a great job of coming over to take the charge, which we talked about. Great anticipation from Dargan. Steals the entry pass. Another turnover for Sequoias. All of a sudden. Giants going through a rough patch here against this West Valley defense. Odin Awu muscles one up, but it's blocked. Gets his own rebound, follows it in, and he's fouled. This could be number four on Lee. Yeah. And fourth on Lee. So a chance for the Vikings to move out to what would be their largest lead. They've equaled their largest lead at eight here. Comes Hare. Plays Jalen Lee with 14-27 remaining in the game. You figure this is going to be a pretty long stint on the bench for Jalen Lee. Yeah, or not that long if they this lead keeps increasing. Yeah. I think you got to get him back in the game. But uh, you had some su success uh, with the smaller lineup earlier. Yeah, they do have the luxury. Cameron Clark out there. But Odenewu will check out, so... Coach Danny Yoshikawa electing to get his big man a quick block. On Nesbitt. Bracey chasing him around. So far, that battle would appear to be going to Baron Bracey. Yep. Not been able to call Nesbitt's name much here today. This is Nesbitt, gets a Clark screen. Now picked up by Mahi, goes to the fadeaway, missed everything. And Mahi with the rebound. Nesbitt giving chase, knocks it free. They still battle. Mahi somehow gets it back. Dargan in from the left. Has that rejected by Clark? And we talked about it before the game. Sequoias has to find ways to get good shots, and they have not gotten any good shots this half. West Valley is so good defensively. Clark coming in here. Look for the briefest of moments like Dargan had a lane to the basket. That closed quickly. But the Vik I should, yeah, the Vikings do keep it. They win up. Good call. Good call. Yeah, just one point in the second half in the first 6-17. They haven't got the they haven't gotten many good shots. Yeah, have not hit a field goal, obviously, just a one free throw. Play in over six minutes. Uh, Gandar straight away knocks down the three. That's a big shot. Uh, they needed that one. 37 31. 
for his three. Orlando has got five in the game. Jake Davis is checked on. Briscoe drives the lane back outside. And Kamahi with the shot clock at seven. Drive on Hare. Pulls up from 17. It's short. Hare tracks down the rebound. Quickly ahead to Nesbitt. Nesbitt, the three in transition. Just grazed the iron, but Hare saves to Argandar. Who will launch for three? Oh. That's good. Argandar with back-to-back -back threes gets Sequoias back within three. What a play by Jaden Hare. He's tracking that ball down. It's the same three that Nesbitt hit early, uh, or late in last night's game. Same spot. Clark going to pick up the foul, or is it going to be a timeout? No, it is going to be on Clark. Yeah. Brief point over at the West Valley bench. And that's the third on Clark. As Odene will return. So now the situation starts to become quite precarious. You've got Lee with four. Odenewu returning. Clark picks up a fourth. Start to really yeah, then it becomes a confront big problem. some serious foul trouble. They brought Dargan back in because of what he brings defensively. Clear out from on. He'll fire for three and hit. Gets the switch with Mahi, who can't get there in time. Sequoia's all the way back. Nine straight, 11.35 remaining in the game. And it's all tied at 37. And right away, you see the switch to Nesbitt on Mahi. Yeah, and, and Mahi, I mean, that's the end of the shot clock, so he's got to force that. But yep. someone else has got to step up, too. Nisha Mahi is a good three-point shooter on the season at 48%, but I sense something of a reluctance to take the three today. Might be just because he's being so effective going more toward the basket. Yeah, it's hard to. But he's 0 for 1 today, and he missed both in the semifinal win against Yuba. Well, now we're just searching for things to critique about him, but. <laughs> Cleo on the drive, oh. doesn't get the roll. It's on the floor, and Clark with the rebound, the soft Jumper is good. Clark with the putback, 39-37, and now the run 11 straight. Ah, he picked up by Arganda. Feed Odenewu, and Hare going to pick up the foul. Be the fourth on Sequoias, the first on Hare. Hare switches back on to Mahi. Again to Mahi. Looking high low, finds Reagan open for three, no good. And Argandar snaps down the board. Yeah, Sequoia is now with all kinds of momentum. Yeah, then West Valley needs to stop here. That was a good shot, though. Cueo steps back, long two. Hare saves it, but to Mahi. Bracey, in from the right, layup missed it. Rebound tapped to Odenewu. Odenewu right back at Clark, and Clark can pick up the foul. That'll be his fourth with 9.39 remaining. So Lee and Clark now with four. Better be ready to go the final 9.39. I don't think he's coming in. 
Yeah, and you can see Coach Jensen down there talking with his assistant coach on whether we should leave him or not. And he said, screw it, let's leave him. Well, we saw Nesbitt moments okay. ago. And he changed his mind. Line. Okay. And he changed his mind. He's coming out. He's going to a smaller lineup now with Davis White, Brian Nesbitt, Argander, and Cueo. Along with Hare. And that might have something to do with Mahi came out as well. Down to Cuello. Looking against Dargan. Cuello's three. Rim's no good. Rebound chased down by Hare. Gander looking for a screen. Reagan there. Pokes a tree. He's got the steal. That's a good defensive play by Reagan. Dargan, step back, missed it. Odenewu with the rebound, but the steal for Argandar. And they're starting to take shots they don't normally take. They've been so good at getting a great shot every time. Cuello. Working on Yang, drives the lane, floater around and out, tapped up, no, and the rebound to Reagan. Last ballot on a long scoreless stretch. So they led 37-28, looking for Odenewu. They send the double, Odenewu just forces one up and the foul called. That's so tough. You want to defend, but that's going to be such a tough spot for Odin Awe to be able to put the ball in. Yeah, and it looked like it was a pretty good call. It's so hard to keep your hands straight up. Second on here is Odin Awe. Steps to the line. Shakir Odin Awe. Nine points, ten rebounds in the game. Looking to break the Sequoia's run, and it's short. Such a tough assignment for Hare. Just over six minutes without a point for West Valley. And Odenay breaks the run, but Sequoia's maintains the one-point lead. Here and they will check out, and here comes Elijah Mahi. And 23 and counting. Sequoia's with the one-point lead. Clark in the game with four fouls. Nice bit. Looking for hair down low. And the turnover. 12th on Sequoia's. Looks like they're trying to space him out again. Sequoia's is in the zone. Yang down low, rejected by Clark, but gets his own rebound. Shot clock down to 12. Darwin. Top, Mahi, shot clock at four, Mahi for three, rimming no. Yang with another rebound. Couple of offensive rebounds for Noah Yang. Briscoe will try for three. Back iron, Cueo with the rebound. Couple of looks from long range for West Valley, but won't go down. Sequoia maintains the one point lead. Cueo, shot clock at 16. Has Mahi in a switch. The three is oh. good for Cueo. Four-point lead for College of the Sequoias. Cueo has got 22. It's out to a four-point lead. 42-38. We wind down towards seven minutes to go. So that's such an ability to make tough shots. Back to the starting five on the floor for West Valley. Shot 
clock at 11. Mahi, not going to wave everybody off. Go to work on Argandar and a whistle off the ball. It's going to go against West Valley. Three seconds in the key. You don't see that called often. I know, oh, yeah. I want to say it's the first time this weekend. Cuello at the controls, now picked up by Mahi. Trying to feed Hare. Odenewu got a hand in. Dargan with the steal. Four on four. Dargan wants Mahi to go down low. Now he'll gather for three and oh, hit. Oh, what a shot. He has been struggling from the field today, which is one made field goal. That is huge to get West Valley back within one. Argandar on the drive, in on Odenewu, blocked by Odenewu, but a foul called, and Argandar again able to get to the chest of Odenewu and pick up the foul. And you got to attack the rim, you got to attack him. What a big shot by Jeremiah Dargan. It's the third on Odenewu. Sends Alex Argandar to the line. Eight points in the game tonight. Jeremiah Dargan went to Clayton Valley High School. Do you know who else went to Clayton Valley High School? I don't. It's the guy standing next to you. All right, sir. A lot of great players have come out of there. Well, now, to be fair, I grew up in Chicago. I don't even know where Clayton Valley High School is, but... It's in the Bay Area. Okay. You got some more alma mater uh, from there? Let's, uh, while we're talking Clayton Valley High School, one more coming for our gander. Not many people that you know. <laughs> okay. But we got players. All right. I know I know what that means. They're not old enough. <laughs> they didn't play in the 80s. They did not play in... You don't... We don't have many people in the 80s. <laughs> okay. Then you're almost assuredly right. So again, they work on the floor. Get that mopped up, and one more coming for Arganda. And he hits the second. One out of two for Arganda. Sequoia is to the two point lead. Down to six minutes to go. Bracey. To Dargan. Hair. We're playing against Mahi. Now they get it to Mahi. Shot clock at 11. Dargan on the drive. Over oh. Clark and good. Jeremiah Dargan. Coming up big over the last couple of minutes. And you said it. He struggled to score the ball. Uh, the last couple days, but two big buckets. Yeah, not the least bit afraid of the moment. And Cuello Jeez. stops and pops from 15 and hits. He's got 24. So go ahead back up too. Odenewu with great position. The turn around and out, but Dargan with the offensive rebound. The putback won't go. Rebound tapped around. It's on the floor, and Argandar has it for Sequoias. A couple of great looks for West Valley. Argander step back three. Long rebound out to Bracey. Been really impressed with Argandar's nose for the basketball, especially on the boards. The yep. ball hits the floor. Yep, he's got great hands. Near steal there, picks up the foul. He had a big steal late last night. And he might have had it against a lot of players there. I got to tell you, too, as I'm sure you've noticed, Mahi's hands are so strong. Yeah. It is hard to get the ball yeah. out of that claw. So the foul on Argandar is his second, and it sends Mahi to the line with a chance. Well, this will be a one and one with Sequoia's in the penalty. And he connects. 
He's got 22. Just five so far in the second half. Up and good. All tied at 45. Cuello. Standing dribble. Lee has returned. Play with four fouls back outside. Shot clock at 12. Cuello on the drive to the basket. Double pump, no, but a foul called. I believe this is going to be on Mahi. It might be. No, it's Dargan. Well, with 4-12 remaining, it's time to talk about the stark contrast in close games between these two teams on the season. Yep. College of the Sequoias, 7-4 and four in games decided by five or less. That's not counting a game last night. That was an 11-point win, but went to overtime. So another very close game that they were in. West Valley, as you might expect, 2-0 and on yeah. the season in games decided by five or less. So there is a difference here in playing in the final couple minutes in a game that's right down to the wire. Yeah, and that's, that's one thing we don't know for sure about them is we don't know what they do in close games because they haven't had any. And part of being 32-0, and you probably haven't been in a lot of close games. Right. So... Because they certainly have challenged themselves. They play in the same conference Absolutely. as Cabrillo, who came here to the championship. Two games against City College of San Francisco, a game against Fullerton, a game against San Diego City. Yep. So this is not the cupcake schedule for West Valley. No, they went and played people, and they beat them pretty good. And they only had a couple close ones. One-point lead for Sequoias. 46-45. Shot clock at five. Dargan steps through but lost the handle. Ball still loose. Reagan down to the floor is able to save, but the whistle comes in. Is this a foul on Quayle? I think a shot clock. Oh, he called a foul. It looked like one ref called shot clock. And yeah, Dallas Jensen can't believe it. And to get back to that point, one other thing with these two teams is I think uh, West Valley's been to the lead eight three straight seasons and uh, Sequoia's four straight seasons. I think one of those was taken uh, by COVID, but uh, they have a lot of guys in here that have played in big games before, so I don't think the close games uh, will be much of an issue. Throws up and good. Well, as we joked about it at the very top and talking about that, it's, it's going to come down to the wire, and that's oftentimes I imagine it's a lot about confidence. And if you're not confident at 32 and 0 that you can win games, yeah, uh, I don't know what's really yeah. going to take. So I don't think they're going to. Certainly had a lot of success. It's hard to believe that you're going to have a lot of doubt. Yeah, they're not going to. They won't tighten up. This yes, but, it's going to come down to who makes plays down the stretch. Holding goes to Clark. Clark and Lee both on the floor with four fouls. Nesbitt, Bracey right with it. Shot clock at eight. Nesbitt still looking, has that one knocked away. Reagan got a hand in. Odenewu up with the steal. Vikings with the one point lead in the ball. 3 with five and counting remaining in the game. To Mahi. And Mahi will fire for three oh. and hit. Elijah Mahi. Well, he had the room and he took the shot, knocked it down. 50 to 46, and he can do it. Shoots 48% on the season. Argandar will try to answer oh. and will. Alex Argandar. And I believe it was Lee who was backing him off of there. He's trying to keep it alive, but can't. Under two minutes. Briscoe on. So Briscoe and Bracey with Dargan. Mahi and Odenobu. Again, Dargan. Mark in the short corner. Starting to work on Mahi. Goes up with the half hook in and out. And a whistle on the rebound. That's this is going to go, I believe, against Lee, is it? Yeah. This will be number five. 
Looked like he hooked his arm a little bit. And Sequoia is in the penalty. So Lee is fouled out with 142 remaining. And Odenewu will head to the line for a one and one. Odenewu shoots 74% from the line. In 51 49. Good touch on the free throw from Odenewu. Gets the bounce. Oh, nice roll on that one. He's got 10 in the game. Now 11 to go along with 11 rebounds. 52 49. Shakir Odenewu delivers a couple of free throws to extend the lead. Quail. Drive on Briscoe. The runner too strong and Odenewu. Right there for the rebound. West Valley. Gonna look to extend this three point lead. 122 and counting remaining. And every coach over at West Valley uh, calling for Mahi to get the ball. And he's holding right now. No clear out. Now the screen comes from Odenewu. Elijah Mahi from 17. It's good. And that's why. Big time shot from Elijah Mahi. He's got 28 to lead all scorers. Five point lead under a minute to go. Cueo off to Argandar. Bracey all over. Alex Argandar now off to Nesbitt. Nesbitt leans into a three. It's short. And again, Odenewu owns the defensive boards. And Cueo going to come up and foul Mahi with 34.8 remaining. They make it knock down shots. And they do six unanswered to go from a one point lead to seven. Cueo for three, three percent. And Mahi, the way he looked on those last couple of free throws, you might be able to just throw out the number. Yeah but shoots it at 71%. So not a lot of great options here for Sequoias for whom do you foul. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who you go with. You're going to need to cause a turnover at some point. They're probably Get trying to trap Mahi. right there. They got him trapped in the corner, but he gets it to Dargan, and now Dargan will be fouled. Again, Mahi in the corner there. He's trapped, but between the size and the strength of the hands, able to just muscle that ball out and get yeah. it to Dargan. So many players would have been in major trouble there trapped yeah. in the corner. Yeah, it helps to be tall and athletic. And Dargan, 80-plus from the line. And gets the first. At the conclusion, we will take you down to the floor for coverage. of the championship presentation. 58-51. Quayle gets a screen, That's comes up look. shooting for three, rimming no. Rebound, tap to Argandar. He'll step back, let it go for three. That missed, and off to Odenewu, and with 10 seconds remaining, he will head to the line for a couple of free throws, and West Valley just a few seconds away from the first men's basketball championship school's history and doing it in quite the style with an undefeated season. And what a great job by West Valley staff to keep your team humble all season long, handle success. What a great job by the Sequoia staff handling adversity, losing. We talked I about mean, it it's, yesterday. It's already such an achievement to come here and get it done when you play three outstanding teams, yep. guaranteed. Yep. In three days or four, depending on the schedule, but over the course of one weekend. So you have already earned it with that alone. Yeah. And this is a team that, again, came from a strong conference, came from a tough out-of-conference schedule. Last shot is short. It's on the floor. 
and off to Odenewu, and perhaps that's fitting as he seemed to come up with every rebound down the stretch to help protect this lead. West Valley, the 3C2A men's basketball champions here in 2024.